Baltic States, Wikipedia article audio. Coordinates, 55 degrees north 24 degrees east. Slash, 55 degrees north 24 degrees east. Slash 55, 24 the Baltic States, also known as the Baltic countries, Baltic republics, Baltic nations, or simply the Baltics is a geopolitical term used for grouping the three sovereign countries in Northern Europe on the eastern coast of the Baltic Sea, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. The term is not used in the context of cultural areas, national identity, or language. The three countries cooperate on a regional level in several intergovernmental organizations. Etymology History All three countries are members of the European Union, NATO, and the Eurozone. They are classified as high-income economies by the World Bank and maintain high Human Development Index. Estonia and Latvia are also members of the OECD, while Lithuania is a prospective candidate. The term Baltic stems from the name of the Baltic Sea a hydronym dating back to the 11th century and earlier. Although there are several theories about its origin, most ultimately trace it to Indo-European root asterisk bull meaning white, fair. This meaning is retained in modern Baltic languages, where Baltas and Balts mean white. However the modern names of the region and the sea, that originate from this root, were not used in either of the two languages prior to the 19th century. Beginning in the Middle Ages and through the present day, the Baltic Sea appears on the maps described in Germanic languages as German, Ostsee, Danish, Stursen, Dutch, Oostsee, Swedish, Ostersten, etc. In English Ost is East and in fact, the Baltic Sea mostly lies to the east of Germany, Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. These names were historically also used to refer to Baltic dominions of Swedish Empire and Baltic governorates of Russian Empire. Endra Bajader argues that it was around the 1840s when the German gentry of the governorate of Livonia devised the term Balts to mean themselves the German upper classes of Livonia, excluding the Latvian and Estonian lower classes. They spoke an exclusive dialect, Baltisch Deutsch, legally spoken by them alone. However the German philologist George Nesselmann in the middle of the 19th century substantiated the concept that Latvian, Lithuanian, and Old Prussian belong to the same branch of the Indo-European languages which he suggested to name as Baltic languages it was at this time when Baltic also started to surpass Ostsee as the name for the region. Officially its Russian equivalent was first used in 1859. In the 13th century pagan and Eastern Orthodox Baltic and Finnic peoples in the region became a target of the Northern Crusades. In the aftermath of the Livonian Crusade, a crusader state officially named Terra Mariana, but also known as Livonia, was established in the territory of modern Latvia and southern Estonia. It was divided into four autonomous bishoprics and lands of the Livonian Brothers of the Sword. After the Brothers of the Sword suffered defeat at the Battle of Saul, the remaining brothers were integrated into the Teutonic Order as the Autonomous Livonian Order. Northern Estonia initially became a Danish dominion, but it was purchased by the Teutonic Order in the mid-14th century. The majority of the Crusaders and clergy were German and remained influential in Estonia and most of Latvia until the first half of the 20th century Baltic Germans formed the backbone of the local gentry and German served both as a lingua franca and for record-keeping. Northern Crusades The Lithuanians were also targeted by the Crusaders, 
however they were able to resist and formed the Grand Duchy of Lithuania some time before 1252. It allied with the Kingdom of Poland. After the Union of Krwo in 1385 created a dynastic union between the two countries, they became ever more closely integrated and finally merged into the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth in 1569. After victory in the Polish-Lithuanian Teutonic War, the Polish-Lithuanian Union became a major political power in the region. In 1558 Livonia was attacked by the Tsardom of Russia and the Livonian War broke out, lasting until 1583. The rulers of different regions within Livonia sought to ally with foreign powers, which resulted in Polish-Lithuanian, Swedish and Danish involvement. As a result, by 1561 the Livonian Confederation had ceased to exist and its lands in modern Latvia and southern Estonia became the Duchy of Kurland and Semigalia and the Duchy of Livonia, which were vassals to the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Ossel Island came under Danish rule and northern Estonia became the Swedish Duchy of Estonia. In the aftermath of later conflicts of the 17th century, much of the Duchy of Livonia and Ossel also came under Swedish control as Swedish Livonia. These newly acquired Swedish territories, as well as Ingria and Kxholm, became known as the Baltic Dominions. Parts of the Duchy of Livonia that remained in the Commonwealth became INFLNTE Voivodeship, which contributed to the modern Latgal region of eastern Latvia becoming culturally distinct from the rest of Latvia as the German nobility lost its influence and the region remained Catholic just like Poland-Lithuania, while the rest of Latvia became Lutheran. Baltic Dominions of Swedish Empire at the beginning of the 18th century the Swedish Empire was attacked by a coalition of several European powers in the Great Northern War. Among these powers was Russia, seeking to restore its access to the Baltic Sea. During the course of the war it conquered all of the Swedish provinces on the eastern Baltic coast. This acquisition was legalized by the Treaty of Nystad in which the Baltic dominions were ceded to Russia. The treaty also granted the Baltic German nobility within Estonia and Livonia the rights to self-government, maintaining their financial system, existing customs border, Lutheran religion and the German language. This special position in the Russian Empire was reconfirmed by all Russian Tsars from Peter the Great to Alexander II. Initially these were two governorates named after the largest cities, Riga and Rival. After the partitions of Poland which took place in the last quarter of the 18th century, the Third Ostsee Governorate was created, as the Kurland Governorate. This toponym stems from the Curonians, one of the Baltic indigenous tribes. Following the annexation of Kurland the two other governates were renamed to the Governorate of Livland and the Governorate of Estland. In the late 19th century, nationalist sentiment grew in Estonia and in Latvia morphing into an aspiration to national statehood after the 1905 Russian Revolution. After the First World War the term Baltic states came to refer to countries by the Baltic Sea that had gained independence from Russia in its aftermath. As such it included not only former Baltic governorats, but also Latgal, Lithuania, and Finland. As World War I came to a close, Lithuania declared independence and Latvia formed a provisional government. Estonia had already obtained autonomy from Tsarist Russia in 1917, but was subsequently occupied by the German Empire, they fought an independence war against Soviet Russia and Baltic nobility before gaining true independence from 1920 to 1939. Latvia and Lithuanians followed a similar process, 
until the Latvian War of Independence and Lithuanian Wars of Independence were extinguished in 1920. Baltic Governates of Russian Empire During the interwar period these countries were sometimes referred to as limitrophe states between the two world wars, from the French, indicating their collectively forming a rim along Bolshevik Russia's, later the Soviet Union's, western border. They were also part of what Clemenceau considered a strategic cordon sanitaire, the entire territory from Finland in the north to Romania in the south, standing between Western Europe and potential Bolshevik territorial ambitions. Newly independent countries east of the Baltic Sea Prior to World War II Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania each experienced an authoritarian head of state who had come to power after a bloodless coup, Antonis Smetana in Lithuania, Konstantin Pats in Estonia, and Karlis Ulmanis in Latvia. Some note that the events in Lithuania differed from its two more northerly neighbours, with Smetana having different motivations as well as securing power eight years before any such events in Latvia or Estonia took place. Despite considerable political turmoil in Finland no such events took place there. Finland did however get embroiled in a bloody civil war, something that did not happen in the Baltics. Some controversy surrounds the Baltic authoritarian regimes due to the general stability and rapid economic growth of the period, some commenters avoid the label authoritarian, others, however, condemn such an apologetic attitude, for example in later assessments of Carlos Ulmanis. Soviet Occupation In accordance with a secret protocol within the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact of 1939 that divided Europe into German and Soviet spheres of influence, the Soviet army entered eastern Poland in September 1939, and then coerced Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania into mutual assistance treaties which granted them the right to establish military bases in these. In June 1940, the Red Army occupied all of the territory of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, and the Red Army installed new, pro-Soviet governments in all three countries. Following rigged elections, in which only pro-communist candidates were allowed to run, the newly elected parliaments of the three countries formally applied to join the Soviet Union in August 1940 and were incorporated into it as the Estonian Soviet Socialist Republic, the Latvian Soviet Socialist Republic, and the Lithuanian Soviet Socialist Republic. Repressions, executions and mass deportations followed after that in the Baltics. Deportations were used as a part of the Soviet Union's attempts, along with instituting the Russian language as the only working language and other such tactics, at Sovietization of its occupied territories. More than 200,000 people were deported by the Soviet government from the Baltic in 1940-1953 to remote, inhospitable areas of the Soviet Union. In addition, at least 75,000 were sent to Gulag. 10% of the entire adult Baltic population was deported or sent to labor camps. Politics The Soviet control of the Baltic states was interrupted by Nazi German invasion of this region in 1941. Initially, many Estonians, Latvians, and Lithuanians considered the Germans as liberators from the Soviet Union. The Baltic countries hoped for the restoration of independence, but instead the Germans established civil administration, known as the Reichskommissariat Ostland. During the occupation the Germans carried out discrimination, mass deportations and mass killings generating Baltic resistance movements. The German occupation lasted until late 1944, when the countries were reoccupied by the Red Army and Soviet rule was re-established, 
with the passive agreement of the United States and Britain. The forced collectivization of agriculture began in 1947, and was completed after the mass deportation in March 1949. Private farms were confiscated, and farmers were made to join the collective farms. In all three countries, Baltic partisans, known colloquially as the Forest Brothers, Latvian National Partisans, and Lithuanian Partisans, waged unsuccessful guerrilla warfare against the Soviet occupation for the next eight years in a bid to regain their nation's independence. Although the armed resistance was defeated, the population remained anti-Soviet. Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia were considered to be under Soviet occupation by the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, NATO and many other countries and international organizations. During the Cold War period Lithuania and Latvia maintained legations in Washington, D.C., while Estonia had a mission in New York. Each was staffed, initially by diplomats from the last governments before USSR occupation. In the late 1980s a massive campaign of civil resistance against Soviet rule, known as the Singing Revolution, began. On August 23, 1989, the Baltic Way, a two million strong human chain, stretched for 600 kilometers from Tallinn to Vilnius. In the wake of this campaign Gorbachev's government had privately concluded that the departure of the Baltic republics had become inevitable. This process contributed to the dissolution of the Soviet Union setting a precedent for the other Soviet republics to secede from the USSR. Soviet Union recognized the independence of three Baltic states on September 6, 1991. There was a subsequent withdrawal of troops from the region in August 1993. The last Russian troops were withdrawn from there in August 1994. Skrunda 1, the last Russian military radar in the Baltics, officially suspended operations in August 1998. The Baltic countries are located in Northern Europe, and because each has access to the sea, it is able to interact with many European countries. All three countries are parliamentary democracies, which have unicameral parliaments that are elected by popular vote to serve four-year terms Ryajikagu in Estonia. Siema in Latvia and Siemas in Lithuania. In Latvia and Estonia, the president is elected by parliament while Lithuania has a semi-presidential system where the president is elected by popular vote. All are parts of the European Union and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Regional Cooperation each of the three countries has declared itself to be the restoration of the sovereign nation that had existed from 1918 to 1940, emphasizing their contention that Soviet domination over the Baltic nations during the Cold War period had been an illegal occupation and annexation. Current Leaders The same legal interpretation is shared by the United States, the United Kingdom, and all other Western democracies, who held the forcible incorporation of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania into the Soviet Union to be illegal. At least formally, the Western democracies never considered the three Baltic states to be constituent parts of the Soviet Union. Australia was a brief exception to this support of Baltic independence, in 1974, the Labour government of Australia did recognise Soviet dominion, but this decision was reversed by the next Australian parliament. On the boundary of two worlds, identity, freedom and moral imagination in the Baltics, Journal of Baltic Studies, Journal of the Association for the Advancement of Baltic Studies, Lituanus journal dedicated to Lithuanian and Baltic art, history, language, literature, and related cultural topics, 
The Baltic Course, International Internet Magazine Analysis and Background Information on Baltic Markets, Baltic Reports, English Language Daily News Website that covers all three Baltic states, The Baltic Review, The Independent Newspaper from the Baltics, The Baltic Times, Independent Weekly Newspaper that covers latest political, economic, business, and cultural events in Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. The Baltics Today, News About the Baltics After the Baltic states had restored their independence, integration with Western Europe became a major strategic goal. In 2002, the Baltic nations applied for membership in NATO and the EU. All three became NATO members on March 29, 2004 and access to the EU on May 1, 2004. The Baltic states are currently the only former Soviet states that have joined either organization. During the Baltic struggle for independence 1989-1992, a personal friendship developed between the Baltic Ministers of Foreign Affairs and the Nordic Ministers of Foreign Affairs. This friendship led to the creation of the Council of the Baltic Sea States in 1992, and the Euro Faculty in 1993. Statistics Estonia, Statistics Latvia, Statistics Lithuania Between 1994 and 2004, the BAFTA Free Trade Agreement was established to help prepare the countries for their accession to the EU rather than out of the Baltic states' desire to trade among themselves. The Baltic countries were more interested in gaining access to the rest of the European market. Economies Culture Ethnic groups Languages Currently, the governments of the Baltic states cooperate in multiple ways, including cooperation among presidents, parliament speakers, heads of government, and foreign ministers. On November 8, 1991, the Baltic Assembly, which includes 15 to 20 MPs from each parliament, was established to facilitate interparliamentary cooperation. The Baltic Council of Ministers was established on June 13, 1994, to facilitate intergovernmental cooperation. Since 2003, there is coordination between the two organizations. Compared with other regional groupings in Europe, such as Nordic Council or Visegrad 4, Baltic cooperation is rather limited. Possible explanations include the short history of restored sovereignty and fear of losing it again, along with an orientation toward Nordic countries and Baltic-Nordic cooperation in the Nordic-Baltic 8. Estonia especially has attempted to construct a Nordic identity for itself and denounced Baltic identity despite still seeking to preserve close relationship with other countries in the region. Estonia, Kirsti Kaljulaid, President of Estonia Latvia, Raymond's Vigenes, President of Latvia Lithuania, Dalia Gryboskite, President of Lithuania Estonia, Juri Raitas, Prime Minister of Estonia Latvia, Maris Kaczynskis, Prime Minister of Latvia Sports Lithuania, Salius Skvernlis, Prime Minister of Lithuania All three countries are members of the European Union, and the Eurozone. They are classified as high-income economies by the World Bank and maintain high Human Development Index. Estonia and Latvia are also members of the OECD, while Lithuania is a prospective candidate. Estonia adopted the euro in January 2011, Latvia in January 2014, and Lithuania in January 2015. 
Geography Nature Statistics Estonians are Finnic people, together with the neighboring Finns. The Latvians and Lithuanians, linguistically and culturally related to each other, are descended from the Balts, an Indo-European people and culture. The peoples comprising the Baltic states have together inhabited the eastern coast of the Baltic Sea for millennia, although not always peacefully in ancient times, over which period their populations, Estonian, Latvian, and Lithuanian have remained remarkably stable within the approximate territorial boundaries of the current Baltic states. While separate peoples with their own customs and traditions, historical factors have introduced cultural commonalities across and differences within them. The population of the Baltic countries belong to different Christian denominations, a reflection of historical circumstances. Both Western and Eastern Christianity had been introduced by the end of the first millennium. The current divide between Lutheranism to the north and Catholicism to the south is the remnant of Swedish and Polish hegemony, respectively, with Orthodox Christianity remaining the dominant faith among Russian and other East Slavic minorities. The Baltic states have historically been in many different spheres of influence from Danish over Swedish and Polish-Lithuanian, to German, and before independence in the Russian sphere of influence. The Baltic states have a considerable Slavic minority, in Latvia, 34.5%, in Estonia, 28.8%, in Lithuania, 13.8%. The Soviet Union conducted a policy of Russification by encouraging Russians and other Russian-speaking ethnic groups of the Soviet Union to settle in the Baltic republics. Today, ethnic Russian immigrants from the former Soviet Union and their descendants make up a sizable minority in the Baltic states, particularly in Latvia and Estonia. General Statistics because the three Baltic states had been occupied by Soviet Union later than other territories, there was a strong feeling of national identity and popular resentment towards the imposed Soviet rule in the three countries, in combination with Soviet cultural policy, which employed superficial multiculturalism in limits allowed by the communist internationalist ideology and under tight control of the Communist Party. This let Estonians, Latvians, and Lithuanians preserve a high degree of Europe-oriented national identity. In Soviet times this made them appear as the West of the Soviet Union in the cultural and political sense, thus as close to emigration a Russian could get without leaving the Soviet Union. The languages of Baltic nations belong to two distinct language families. The Latvian and Lithuanian languages belong to the Indo-European language family and are the only extant members of the Baltic language group. The Estonian language is a Finnic language, together with the neighboring Finland. Apart from the indigenous languages, German was the dominant language in Estonia and Latvia in academics, professional life, and upper society from the 13th century until World War I. Polish served a similar function in Lithuania. Numerous Swedish loanwords have made it into the Estonian language. It was under the Swedish rule that schools were established and education propagated in the 17th century. Swedish remains spoken in Estonia particularly the Estonian-Swedish dialect of the Estonian Swedes of northern Estonia and the islands. There is also significant proficiency in Finnish in Estonia owing to its closeness to the native Estonian and also the widespread practice of listening to Finnish broadcasts during the Soviet era. Russian also achieved significant usage particularly in commerce. Russian was the most commonly studied foreign language at all levels of schooling during the Soviet era. 
Despite schooling available and administration conducted in local languages, Russian settlers were neither encouraged nor motivated to learn the official local languages, so knowledge of Russian became a practical necessity in daily life. Even to this day, the majority of the population of the Baltic states profess to be proficient in Russian, especially those who lived during Soviet rule. Meanwhile, the minority of Russian origin generally do not speak the national language. The question of their assimilation is a major factor in social and diplomatic affairs. Basketball is a notable sport across the Baltic states. Teams from the three countries compete in the respective national championships and the Baltic Basketball League. The Lithuanian teams have been the strongest, with the BC Algiris winning the 1999 FIBA EuroLeague. The Lithuania men's national basketball team has won the Eurobasket on three occasions and has claimed third place at the 2010 World Cup and three Olympic tournaments. Meanwhile, the Latvia men's national basketball team won the 1935 Eurobasket and finished second in 1939, but has performed poorly since the 1990s. Lithuania hosted the Eurobasket in 1939 and 2011, whereas Latvia was one of the hosts in 2015. The historic Lithuanian basketball team Kano Algiris won the Euroleague in 1999. However, the Latvia women's national basketball team finished fourth at the 2007 Eurobasket. Ice hockey is also popular in Latvia. Dinamo Riga is the country's strongest hockey club, playing in the Continental Hockey League. The 2006 Men's World Ice Hockey Championships were held in Latvia. Association football is popular in the Baltic states, but have claimed poor results in international competitions. They have played in the Baltic Cup since 1928. Estonian and Soviet chess grandmaster Paul Kears was among the world's top players from the mid-1930s to the mid-1960s. He narrowly missed a chance at a World Chess Championship match on five occasions. Estonian Marco Martin was successful in the World Rally Championship in the early 2000s where he got five wins and 18 podiums, as well as a third place in the 2004 standings. Cities Latvian tennis player Jelena Ostapenko won the 2017 French Open, another Latvian tennis player Ernest Skulbis was a semi-finalist at the 2010 Rome Masters and 2014 French Open. Forests cover over half the landmass of Estonia. Devonian sandstone cliffs in Gaja National Park, Latvia's largest and oldest national park. Winter landscape of Lithuania. All three are unitary republics, joined the European Union on May 1, 2004. Share EET slash EEST time zone schedules and euro currency. International peer-reviewed journals, media, and book series dedicated to the Baltic region include Official Statistics of the Baltic States